city lights so far away on a trip or a long holiday take a drive downtown without a care cause you're high I want softly gems in the sky I know you see them I know you know that I love you wherever you go wherever you Touches everything, makes it feel old. But you want me always discreetly. You complete me, and I never, never wanna let you.
you thought I'm dead and done. You'll know for sure tonight. I'm rising from my shallow grave. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon and perhaps even good evening. Thank you so much for dropping by and reminding me of the real meaning of the world fancy pants. Very good to see you, Miss Julia, Mr. Brian, Miss Nancy, for a very short while, Mr. Deviant and anyone else who's out there watching. Thank you so much for dropping by, like the WP Guru bot, for example. Always good to see you. Hey, today I want to try something that is potentially going to totally um, uh, end in, in total disaster. I don't know yet, uh, but it's something we can we can try out together. After this amazing success yesterday, bringing some animations from iClone over into Unreal Engine, I would like to see if we can complement the whole regiment of people in the diner with a waitress. So I'm thinking that's Miss Nancy Pants. I love it, right? Not Fancy Pants. Look at that. I didn't even get the joke. Huh? That's terrible. So I was thinking um, we can try the impossible. We can try to bring a Das character with a waitress outfit over from Das Studio into Reallusion's character creator and then from there bring that into iClone, put an animation on that and then bring that into Unreal Engine. Whoops, I'm kind of gone. Where am I gone? I'm, I'm, I'm back. So I'm, I'm back. I'm back. There we go. So, you know, what could possibly go wrong, right? So uh, I think I do have at least one, maybe even two waitress outfits so why don't we start there and have a look in my install manager and see if we can find it. I don't even know which um, which generation that costume is for, but I will go and just pick the, the character accordingly. Let's see if we can make it happen. <laughs> we only have about two hours. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I bought the Alembic for Das Studio uh, add-on, the plugin that was on sale. I thought maybe I'll give it a go. Let's see what happens. Waitress something. Waitress. Restaurant waitress uniform for Genesis 3. Well, that should work, shouldn't it? I don't actually remember what that is like. Uh, let's have a look on the das3d.com. 
have a look for waitress. Tavern mate, that's not it. This is n certainly not it, but that looks good as well. FG waitress, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if I have that. Diner waitress for Genesis. Uh, which one do I have again? <laughs> what was again? Restaurant waitress. There we go. Restaurant waitress. That's the one. So that'll work. No, that's that's not it either. This is the restaurant waiter. Oh, there we go. Restaurant waitress. That's the one. So this must be the one that I have then. I wonder if I also have the waiter. That's not bad. We can make that happen. This is for Genesis 3. Perfect. What else do I have? We're going to go install her. For sure. So is there also a waiter then? Waiter? What restaurant waiter uniform for Genesis 3 male? Well, that is also awesome. Let's go and get those two installed. And then see what they actually look like. I don't think I've ever used that for anything. So this would be a perfect uh, way to make that, to, to see if it, if it works. So also I'm going to use the latest and the greatest version of Das Studio 4.22, of course. <laughs> Technically the beta version had exactly these features for quite a while. Do I even have the Genesis 3 starter essentials? I don't, so I suppose we're going to need those as well. I didn't know we are going to need that, so starter something. Genesis 3 male and female starter essentials. And I think those, yeah, they can also go into here. This is going to be exciting. So I've, Brian and I have done this together on a Zoom call. Thank you, Brian, for doing that. And uh, we deduce that sometimes it's good not to follow all the instructions. Like in this case, apparently to make this transfer possible, you have to go and pose the Genesis figure in something like a, uh, like a special pose for character creator, which is the Reillusion character maker thing. But it turns out it was actually better if we <laughs> if we don't do that because then the results are just much much better so i think also what i might do for genesis 3 what types of characters did we have there? that was that was generation 7 wasn't it let's see what happens when i type in 7 and uh, so there's gianni and gray gia 7 for gia 8 gia is good gia let's go let's go with gia she's she's good so that's a good character to use. Anything else? Seven. Kalea, I don't remember her. Lesser known character. Isabella, seven. Karen. Karen, Arabella, Darius. Darius, I remember Darius. He's a, he's a good guy. Let's go with Darius as well, just in case we need another. Genevieve, I, that doesn't ring a bell. Rune, I think Rune, yeah, she's a bit like a uh, muscle girl. Let's go use her as well. T. Josie, Ophelia, that doesn't ring a bell. Michael Seven, certainly going to use him. Monique, Monique was also good, I remember. Monique and Olympia. How about it? Perfect. Okay, that should be good. That should be enough to get us started. So the waitress uniform, that should have already arrived. How about the starter essentials? Yes, they've arrived already as well. And then now we're going to pop in some, some figures here. This is, this is good. Um... Wardrobe, nun, waitress, and waiter. Perfect. Well, why don't we try it with the Genesis 3 male first? And perhaps, perhaps, Michael, if he's around. Michael, there you are. See if you've fully installed yourself already. See if we can make that happen. <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> I have a look at how fast that figure loads. Isn't that amazing? Very cool. So you shall wear... Oh, I don't think I have any hair for the waiters either. That's another problem. Waiter outfit. Let's see. Waiter outfit. That, that worked beautifully. How exciting. Some Genesis 3 hair. Well, that is um, a little trickier to find, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think I have anything. Do I have anything that... Oh, there we are. Armani hair. We could try that, but I've got so much hair that is probably... We can probably find something better, won't we? 
Genesis 3 something about hair. Let's see. Foxy outfit scrubs trendy coffee shop barista uniform. That sounds great. Hey, these things, they can all make a comeback with, with iClone. That, I love that idea. A stewardess outfit, steakhouse server outfit. Look at that. All the good old i13 stuff. That is very nice. Layla hair. I suppose that's a good thing that I can install. Giselle. Why don't we try that as well? Not that I remember it. Adam hair. Cowboy outfit. The bard outfit. Look at that. All good stuff. Perrin hair. Shangri-La. Strappy sandals. Sexy reflections. Top up do. That could be good for a waitress. I can see that working. Short pigtails. Iceland afro hair. Now that could be good. Let's go do that as well. That's only 1.4 gigabytes for a hair prop. I like it. That's gonna be that's gonna be good. Face controls. I should also install that while I'm at it here. Alice wet and dry hair. Buzzed. Buzzed could be good. Buzzed for Genesis 8 male. I have a buzzed haircut. I can I can see that working. Lyle hair. There we go. I remember that. Lyle. Lion's gonna be good hair. <laughs> the cue ball cafe, yes, exactly. Good point, Julia. Are those leather pants? They certainly look like they are. I wonder if we should uh, correct that already, or if it's just not showing up properly in uh, filament. Let's have a look in iRay and see what that. I think that if we just drop down the roughness on those pants, I think we'll be okay. Oh, there we go. It looks much better in, in iRay. <laughs> that is good. I'm glad we're checking. These are more like jeans now, aren't they? Look at that with the seams and the little blotches on there. That is, that is very nice. Glad we're checking. Michael and his waiter outfit. Very good. Yeah, they do look like plastic pants. It's important to, you know, make sure that isn't... What does the Imani hair look like? Just out of curiosity, not bad, not bad. I mean, while everything else is installing, I think we'll go and start with him. <sighs> Sacred Sage, how's it going? Good to see you, buddy. How's my favorite night shift manager? Uh, let's see if we can make this happen. Not that I remember any of it, but it was fairly straightforward, I think, wasn't it? He says, good to see you, man. Today I'm trying the impossible sage. I've had good luck uh, yesterday putting some animations from iClone into Unreal Engine. And today I thought I want to expand on that and bring in a figure from Das Studio with clothing into Character Creator and from there into iClone and from there into Unreal Engine. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> this is going to be exciting. So what was the workflow again, Brian? We export as FBX from here in this pose. Don't use the poses they tell you to use, just use these. And then we import it into Character Creator, follow the dialogue and we're done, right? That's, that's how it works, I think. Oh, okay. Working for the city, did it not work out for it at Checkers? No more night shift, huh? That is cool though. That is good. Night shift is not good. Simple TM, yes. But well, good luck with it. Good luck with the new job. I hope it's going to work out. What made you um what made you quit? What made you leave the checkers? Now, content-wise, does character creator know the custom content directory I have set up in iClone. Let's let's see, shall we? <laughs> also, uh, I don't think I'm I'm quite liking this sort of setup here. Shall we go and put this over here? Here, no, here, here, here yes. And then this as well. That 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 goes over here. Hello that over here <clears throat> that over here okay we'll leave it over and on the left then shall we character creator everything okay here 
No, I understand, understand. Sometimes politics really ruin everything, don't they? I hear you. City sounds good, though. Still getting getting this act together here. I think I think he might actually recognize the content. Uh, installation finished. That's good. Installed or installed packs, including morph sliders, may take some time to update the morphless. Let's do it now while we're at it. I have a new computer, Sage, on which you know this stuff isn't installed, so <laughs> I'm still scrambling to to get my bearings. I've installed all the software, but some of the content is of course not there. Let alone the layouts I've set up. 25 cents more an hour. I mean, you know, that's a that's a decent pay rise, you know. <laughs> Not that. Yes, it's a new HP workstation. I mean, it's a, it's a used one, but it's the one, it's the generation after the one that I was using for the last couple of years. 256 gigabytes of system RAM. <laughs> nice stuff. It kind of came with it. I thought that's that's quite cool. Uh, righty. While, while you do that... We'll go do that. Michael 7. Come on, let's see if we can do that. Export. We'll make a special folder on maybe on maybe the desktop. And we'll call that iClone Exports. I'm so glad you two are here because you guys know much more about iClone and Character Creator than I do. Michael 7 Waiter. And this is where we shall put an FPX. We call him Michael Seven. Now the settings, I think that was 2012 binary, I've, I seem to remember. I selected only sounds good. Figures, yes. Prop slides, cameras, no. Subdivision data, I don't think I want. I'd rather leave it plain as it is. I think we didn't change any of that. Include morphs, I think we didn't need that either. Was there anything in particular that we did or did not need? Figure is that, oh, I see. Uh, no, then let's not do not select it because then the clothing doesn't come over. So let's go do that. I can already see that's gonna become a problem otherwise. So we have the figure, Armani hair, apron, pants, shirt, and shoes. Perfect. And no props, no props, there we go. Embed textures, yes, 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 indeed. Embed textures, binary only, boom. Other than that, we should, we shall, we shall try it. Are you gonna remember this? Let's see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It'll be exciting. <laughs> Give it a whirl. What could go wrong exactly? All oh, those buttons. They could go wrong. Anything that is... One of those... Um, what are they called again? These types of things here. What are they called? They're called rigid follow nodes, and any clothing that has that, it's already doomed for failure when it comes to using it outside of DAS Studio. <laughs> It'll be fine. Okay, and here we'll say import, import. That's the plan. It's a character. It is a humanoid character or is it a cc avatar i've already forgotten i think it's a humanoid non-standard transformer a bot a bot cancel a bot transformer that was it let's use transformer it's a cc3 plus character right because i think genesis 3 was cc3 plus anything before that was cc3 i think eight three eight nine cc3 plus yes i like it a bot, thank you so much. Faltered at the first hurdle. Crazy. <laughs> okay, much better. Whew, crisis has been averted. 
I remember this could take a while. <laughs> we should play a video game while we're at. Do you know, I'm really enjoying Talos Principle 2. My God, they've done such a good job on it. Made with Unreal Engine 5, by the way. And I actually called that when I was looking at the graphics. I was thinking, hmm, I think the way the lumen light bounces on the inside of the tunnel, that's usually what lumen looks like. And lumen has only been introduced in 5. So there we go. Ooh. You're in love with the Resident Evil 4 remake. How exciting. I bought 2 and 3 and uh, had my eye on 4. I really enjoyed 2. That was just... I only played the demo. I got to play the, the, the full game, so... Load basic FBX embedded textures files. Advanced, automatically detect and load... Yeah, advanced, 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 advanced. 4 beats both. How exciting. I've heard that. 2 is better than 3. I've heard that. 2 is hilarious. And I love how they retained the whole atmosphere from the original. That's just beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. I tried the Callisto project the other day. Man, what a terrible game. Don't don't play it. Don't buy it. <laughs> also made with Unreal Engine 5. I tell you, and it's only going to get worse as we build the metaverse together. We're all hard at work doing something in a world that we don't, we will never inhabit. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> we'll be able to look at it through flat planes and admire what's happening in there without actually ever being involved. <laughs> I feel like we are like the these androids in Talos Principle who have built the world, rebuilt the world after the simulation ends and humanity had died out. And they've made it happen. And yeah, they're rebuilding it for... They don't really know what for yet, but... <laughs> oh, there we go. Each individual button could be imported. Is that crazy to do that, Brian? Should we do that? Does sound an interesting... Does sound interesting, actually. <laughs> we have the... Shirt is cloth, apron is cloth, the pants are cloth, the shoes are shoes, and the Armani hair is supposed to be hair. And that sounds like it could be that. Um, I'm okay with 1k textures here. I'm not entirely sure where my character is in all this. <laughs> I don't know if that's coming off um, anyway. <laughs> Chip, chip away. I'll go and say, okay, see what happens. Do I, what, what is this with the big body texture? Max body texture. Maybe we'll make that a bit larger. Should we make that? Maybe make that 4K. Texture profile, we'll maybe leave that alone, right? I love it. Let's hit okay. Resizing textures. This could take a while. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so while this is doing that, maybe I'll go and start up Unreal Engine because we're going to need that later. And of course, iClone, which we're also going to need later. Yeah, the double triangle diner. There it is. Triangle diner. <laughs> I've taken the liberty to adjust the animations we've imported yesterday a little bit and they look a little bit better now so the legs don't intersect with the seats anymore and they're a little bit further on the ground and the arms don't intersect with the tables anymore. So yes, small, small amendments. Yes, while this is doing that... How did you all enjoy your extra hour, those of us in America? <laughs> those of us in, in Europe, they've already had it for a couple of weeks. We've only just been giving it back, the one hour that we had to give away in April. I'm so glad we got that back. Now the world's on the correct clock again. <laughs> At least for me. Oh, that is mean. That is so, so mean. <laughs> you 
It was nice and bright this morning, wasn't it? Time is a measurement. It was created by men. So did we really give anything? Well, we... Yeah, good point. <laughs> You got a 3D printer at all, all at the same time. How interesting. That is interesting. Processing diffuse. Very interesting. I do actually have an option. Can I show you this? I think I can. I'm going to show you what I have here while we're talking about adverts. They do allow us now, uh, much like on Twitch, they do allow us to go into a live feed and roll the ads when we think it's a good idea rather than roll them when, uh, when they think it's a good idea. Let me go and show you where that is. It's, um, it's, you, can, you can either let it uh, do its thing completely automatic or we can get involved in that. So if ever there is a need to do that, don't know why this is taking so unbelievably long to do its thing here. Come on, buddy. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on, buddy. Load the interface. Come on. I was thinking click. Boom. More like click. Wait. 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 And then slowly things pop into place as if I'm on a 56k modem here. Terrible. These are these little two buttons here. So if I wanted to roll an ad, I can go and press this and then you get one. Or if I want to press this, then they'd be held. So I can then delay ads with that, which is kind of interesting, isn't it? Yeah, see, there we go. Yeah, so that's how that works. So if I go and press delay ads, does anything happen? Yeah, there we go. It's, it's been delayed for... Oh, okay. I've only got 10 minutes. So no no ads for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> how exciting. How exciting. Yeah, so this is how that works. This here, if you're ever doing a stream or you have a colleague that works with you, this is to make a highlight of that video and this is to set a marker. So these are new features here, these four things. So very, very cool. I like that. There was actually something else I wanted to show, wanted to share with you while now that you've all seen the ad and now you can, you know, that we're all here. But I forgot what it was now. There was something I was going to share with you and I totally forgot. What a shame. Maybe my brain will remember <laughs> later. Also, congrats. Yes, congrats on breaking 1K. It's a very central character in Talos Principle 2, 1K. I think next weekend... I might be at 25k, which is a big milestone for me. So we, maybe we'll go and celebrate, you know. Oh, the brown hours. Do you want me to switch them off? I'm not sure if they're too brown. <laughs> I can always uh, have a look if uh, night light, night light. There we go. Sometimes on the recordings, it really doesn't look so, so hot. How about, bing, there we go. It's blue again. Yeah, that's nice. The brown hours, yes. Much better. Especially when your computer switches nightlight on and mine does as well, then we have it basically on, on both. Twice, which is insane. So this is taking forever. That's fine. I'm going to go and prepare my female waitress then. Um, should I save him? No, I don't think I'm going to save him. I'm going to go and see if we can find... Oh, Buzzed. There we go. Didn't I also install Buzzed for... for uh, Genesis Mail? Didn't I do that? I guess I, obviously I didn't, you know. Rune. How about Rune? Rune can be our waitress. No, Monique. Let's let Monique be our waitress. There we go. Okay, don't look. She's going to be naked. Don't look. Don't look. It's terrible. Oh my god, no. Don't look. Don't look. S -s Turn around. Quick. <laughs> that was actually quite funky. Did you do that? Who did that? Turning figures around. <laughs> Waitress uniform. There we go. <laughs> there. Same leather skirt. Almost. But then we know it's not leather, so that's good. 
shoes. Shoes are working. I like it. Then with a bit of hair. Giselle hair. Oh, that's Giselle hair. That's nice. Oh, try Giselle hair. For Genesis 3. Oh, give all my Genesis 3 and maybe Genesis 2 content a new lease on life. I like it. In Unreal Engine, if it works. Like, like J, yes, exactly. That's because, you know. <laughs> During COVID, the payouts on YouTube were just so much higher. I, during COVID, I think I made about three times of what I make now. And there's also display ads on websites, but that's also tremendously gone down. There is, this is what I wanted to share with you here. This is now, I remember, and it's in regards to YouTube. So um, while you said YouTube are displaying ads, how dare they? Did you know that YouTube are really going after people who use ad blockers on videos. It's crazy. I mean, there are plugins that you can, or add-ons, browser add-ons that you can pay for that apparently get rid of them. And YouTube say it's against the terms of service to not watch the ads. I don't really know what to make of that. It's, it's like saying, if you want to watch YouTube, you either have to have premium or you have to watch ads. You can't do that without ads. And, you know, I'm thinking that is so, so and crazy. This is amazing. Why, how, how can that be part of the terms of service? You know, is it, is it against the terms of service if I go and close my eyes and ears? If I look away while an ad is there, is that also against the terms of service? That's crazy. Insert canned laughter here. Yes, exactly. It's so true. It's so true. Poor Jay can't even afford caffeine anymore. He now has to drink decaf. Bizarre stuff. Okay, Monique. Get ready for your big, um, what's it called here? Uh, the, the big export. Monique, seven. Waitress. Let's see how that goes. So include figures, uh, not selected, face groups. We don't want to embed textures. Everything else we don't mind. And we have the hair and the person, apron, shirt, shoes, stockings, and that's it. Perfect. No subdivision data. Export goes fairly fast. Import into character creator, hour and a half. I like it. I suppose it's working hard underneath the, uh, behind the scenes and all that. <laughs> if you sneeze, you get a strike. I mean, depends what you put out. <laughs> If you adhere to their guidelines, it's okay. Sometimes you just get penalized for the wrong things. Yes, against the terms of service to not watch the ads. I usually, when this happens on, on TV, I just go and mute it and browse my phone and then eventually you just switch it on again. There used to be these, for, for real live TV, there used to be these blackout boxes, I remember, that used to detect when an ad was about to play and then just literally just insert black. But, you know, that was in the 90s when we, when we still had analog TV signals and all that. I think ads, they do get in the way, though, when when you want to learn something from YouTube. And YouTube's become such a large resource of educational material for us, education and entertainment, that learning stuff like this, 3D, is just so distracting and difficult, even without ads. So, yeah, I, I, got, I got premium. You'd think if you are a creator on YouTube, they'd give you premium for free, but that's not the case. That's, like Twitch would do that as well. 
they don't show you ads on your own channel, but they do show you ads on everyone else's channel. And you think, well, since you're an affiliate, maybe you'd not do that, but that's not how it works either. So. <laughs> Yes, exactly. How is that possible? Also, Nate made a good point there. How is it possible that you spend, whatever, a week on making a video and you use 20 seconds from somebody else's music, but they get all the revenue of your video? How, how's that possible? You know, isn't there like sharing? I can kind of understand, even though then 50-50 is also not a fair deal because 50% of my work doesn't mean the, the song made it that popular. That's really, you know, that's not, not really the case. So yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> I remember getting copyright strikes on Stardew Valley and was it Stardew Valley? It was Stardew Valley and something else. And what happened was because those types of musics are free anyway, somebody took that music made a song out of it and then told YouTube, this is my song, anyone uses this, they should get a copyright strike. Of course, YouTube detects the original in my video and thinks I'm using his music. Obviously not the case. And always good to have a link handy where the um, concerned ape tells you explicitly you are allowed to monetize on, on anything you make with Stardew Valley. Quite funky. In TV, you had to pay for what you used, yeah. And that is still kind of the case with things like Epidemic, like the music that I'm using in the background, I pay for that. And with it, I get the uh, the option to use it on YouTube and Twitch, yeah. Exactly. And I think we need more options like that. YouTube themselves have this in their audio library now, I believe, if you go into... If you go into the YouTube Studio Audio Library, you can pick tracks there that, that are either free or you can even go and buy some. Some for absurd amounts of money, like five grand for a track or something, and then you don't get a copyright um, strike. This is it here, Creator Music Beta, that's the one. Don't know why this is so slow. Maybe I shouldn't have started Unreal Engine. <laughs> Yeah, access licenses from a deep catalog. So you can have paid, free or revenue share. So this is another option where people go and get you, um, where you'd have to share your revenue with the creator of the music um, and you know that up front. But yeah, these things are 199. But there are some other things like if you say view all, featured collections. So like 14.99, you know, sometimes you have to pay a ton of cash, a tenner, but then you don't get a copyright strike. So you pay up front and then you can use the music. So it's kind of a, it's an interesting, you know, it's, it's nice to do that. How are we doing here? 16 of 78. Man, what is that? Like 11 hours per character? Next time I'll use 1K. <laughs> Dang. Funny, isn't it? How, how times change. I think one short I had 6,000 views on, the Love Mobile. But if you get views, then they usually happen in the first two days and then it sharply falls off. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit crazy, the whole shorts thing. <laughs> I'm so not into that. I'm not into TikTok. I really, it's, I'm not into reels and all that sort of thing. It's really, it's just completely the opposite of the format that I would watch. I've read on X, what's left of Twitter, that the people who started using UEFN and put their levels out for the, you know, the Fortnite, Unreal Engine for Fortnite thing, they apparently make more money there than they did on YouTube. Which is, of course, you know, if you make YouTube videos with the, with the idea that that will create an income, then that's, of course, the wrong reason to make videos to begin with. That's <laughs> number one no, number one reason to make bad videos because you want to make cash. That You shouldn't do that. You should really shouldn't do that. But um, on UEFN, uh, people do make 
definitely more than they than they can make on YouTube, which is an interesting fact. I didn't know that. Very, very good to know. It is taking forever, isn't it? Hey, but it does it very thoroughly. Yeah, so the the reason why YouTube is really cool is because you um, you meet people. That is why YouTube is really cool. If you can m make money on top of that, great. But most of the the most significant uh, contacts I've made in the industry have happened as a result of what I do on YouTube. And um, yeah, that's that's quite fascinating. So I've met really cool people, and through meeting those people, um, yeah, I made I made fantastic connections. It's it's great. That is why YouTube is good. Yeah, this is taking uh, rather a long time, isn't it? Maybe it is Unreal Engine. Bogging down my computer a little bit. Could it be? What's Task Manager say? I did disable iRay, didn't I? <laughs> Just checking. Yeah, CPU is working hard. That's on what though? <laughs> what are you working on, dude? Oh yeah, character creator. Sucking up all the resources. Look at that. Interesting. Ah. Unreal Engine contributing a little bit, but certainly not, you know, nothing we need to worry about. Well, I guess there's a lot to calculate, huh? <laughs> we'll just hang out. Right. Do you know what? Same here, actually, Brian. Um, I just don't have the time anymore. I will keep going, of course, because there's so many things I figure out and, you know, it's a good reminder to myself. But uh, producing videos does take a lot of effort. It's true. It's true. And um, quite frankly, the more complex these 3D applications become, it's just there's only so many hours in the day, isn't there? So... Yeah. And it is also good to have a rest, Julia. I totally agree. It's always good to recharge your creative batteries. I spoke to Willie Broadus this morning. I was uh, I was streaming the Talos Principle 2 on Twitch with no commentary and he dropped by and we hung out and that was kind of nice. And he said, yeah, I've been um, I've not been doing Das Studio for the last few weeks, but he's getting back to it as of today. So that's quite nice. Yeah, he had some other things that he needed to do and it's always good to, you know, take breaks, Jay. <laughs> Tell yourself that. It's good to take breaks. And you're right, yes, streams are just as tiring, yes. Yes, I've even been scaling back on those. I had to cancel the last few last weekend. Um, it was just, you know, sometimes there's just too much, too much stuff on. I'm looking forward to, do you remember last year and the year before when we had these midweek hangout sessions on Twitch every day? That was kind of cool. I'm looking forward to getting back to that. Uh, I don't know if I can do it every day in December, but uh, you know, a couple of days a week, I'm, I'm thinking that might be nice. There's always things I want to try out <laughs> and it'd be good to, good to hang out. So tell me then, if I hadn't chosen 4K, this would have gone a lot faster, right? And since it's going into Unreal Engine, I might go and do the the next character as 1K and see how that goes. I have a feeling it's probably going to be a bit uh, faster. But at least 4K, I suppose, retains the full whack resolution. Brian, I really enjoyed hanging out with when you streamed. Uh, that was really cool, and it was it was just a nice way to get together. Uh, sometimes 
like now, you know, when we're just not doing computer stuff and we're just talking, that's kind of, I, I like that. I like that. Sometimes when you get in the zone and you can't look at chat so much, that's, that's also nice, but just, you know, hanging out like this is kind of cool. <laughs> and then, of course, speaking of, you know, texture conversions and all that, we're all looking forward to the potential Christmas deal that there might be on the Faceform Wrap website. I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping they're going to have a sale on. I think I might invest in the new version. There's so many cool features that you can get there now. It's very, very cool. Processing Diffuse. Shall we see if they are on sale now? I mean, you know, while we're waiting. So it's now on faceform.com, isn't it? Yes, we're waiting. We're still with face form. There we go. Buy. Buy. Buy now. Rap helps creating digital doubles. Isn't that a crazy thought? No, 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 no. I don't want to sign in. I just want to see the price, you know. <laughs> just show me the price. I'm not going to log in. Just show me the price. That's a little bit mean, isn't it? Oh, there we go. 1070 ah well that's not what we mean we, we mean we mean this license 570 got you there is an upgrade though so we already have this the previous version and there is an upgrade for about half of that currently yeah there we go that's what people make with rap satoshi nakamoto i love it and a lot of people i've never heard of which is also good Yes, we're we're certainly expanding the ten second rule today, huh? Yes, yes. Face form wrap. You've never heard of it? It used to be called R three DS wrap. The Russian 3D scanner. It's a thing that lets you wrap one mesh around another of different topology. So you wrap a Genesis 9 character around a Genesis 8 shape, but it still retains the Genesis 9 geometry. Or you do the same with the character creator, a base character. Yeah, and the new version has so many cool features. Select points with splines as an example. Very cool idea. Yeah, you can do blend shapes, you can do all kinds of things. It does uh, texture conversions. How rap works. Hello. That's how it works. This is exactly what it looks like. <laughs> the 10 hour rule. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't think I have it installed right now. But yeah, you put this uh, once a scan, once a clean geometry, and then you go and wrap one around the other. And out comes the clean geometry in the shape of the scan with the ugly geometry. You can do all kinds of things with it and then convert the texture and boom. Yes, very cool program. And they've changed their... Still processing. 29 of 78. Man, we're going to be here forever. <laughs> yes, wrap, not wrap. <laughs> Man. Yes, let's play a game. <laughs> Let me just get my PlayStation controller. <laughs> Christmas wrap, yes. <laughs> what else can we do while we while we patiently wait? Were there any other outfits I wanted to check out? 
Anything else? Waitress. Medical center waiting room. Okay. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't it. Waiter, anything else? No. Guess I've installed that already. Twenty-nine of seventy-eight. Yes, 8-Ball. I've been meaning to activate that. I don't know how it, how it actually works. Oh, the 8-Ball. Actually, no, the 8-Ball is a thing that, that's easy. There's another thing where you can play things and you gain points and you have to pay with points and that was all very, very complicated. Do you know, I've tried to bring my old computer back to life this morning. Man, poor thing died it's one of the one of really weird thing he literally held out until i had all the data on my new computer and then the old computer but like usually i get it you know things break things need a bios reset and all that but he literally just you switch him on fans come on lights come on and there's no image output at all there's no beeping there's no nothing from the computer so he doesn't tell me what's wrong so i managed to, to um, reset the bios and yank all the drives out and then he came back to life and he goes yeah system time is wrong and i thought oh okay great i'll give you the new system time that's, that's the least i can do and then he booted once and then i thought well maybe it's any of the attached drives and put them in one by one it kind of works i reboot him and he's dead again so one of the drives must be completely broken thankfully it's not the m2 drives it's one of the older like spinning hard drives and some of the ssds i had attached Crazy stuff. Probably, Julia. Probably. A 38 of 78. How long has it been now? Uh, 30 minutes? <laughs> because we have another 30 minutes to wait, I think. <laughs> God. Why do you do this on stream, Jay? I mean, you know, 30 minutes, we can always have a look at the Talos Principle. It's a good game, that. Gotta say. It's a good game. <laughs> Next one, 1K. <laughs> Jay loads! <laughs> Jay waits! Jay looks at the progress bar. That should have gone up from 0 to 80 in about 2 seconds and then hang on the last 20% for an hour or so. Yes. Thirty-eight of seventy-eight. Hey, why don't we do that? Let me just grab my, my PlayStation controller. Let's just go play some Talos Principle for you know 10-15 minutes, solve one puzzle, and then <laughs> let's do that. Why don't we do that? Because, you know, what would you do in real life? Would you endure this? <laughs> the timing twins. I like it. Talos Principle 2. All right. <laughs> Check it out. Made with Unreal Engine 5. Good logo. <laughs> Ooh, it animates. <laughs> Just while we wait, you know, and since it takes like seven hours to convert a character, why don't we do that? Think the music might be a little bit loud. Let's make it a bit quieter here. Yes, yes, maybe. Maybe, maybe that. I like it. 
All right. Yeah, I deduce that if we've been waiting for like about 40 minutes now, and we have another 40 minutes to go, I think, you know, we might as well just enjoy, enjoy the landscape here. <laughs> this is a nice puzzle five next. I like it. Oh yeah, this was a tricky one. I did that earlier. So I don't know if you, if you know the game. Did we say Master Volume could just come down a little bit more? Like maybe, maybe 15%. Let's do that. Perfect. So in the previous game, we, we had these, these things that were taking a blue laser and you could reroute it, right? But in this game, we have other things. So we have, we still have that mechanic. We still have the fan on the floor, but we now have a thing that is uh, where again? I don't even know where. But there is a thing that now combines red and blue together to make it green. But if you need green, they need to combine green uh, and blue that makes red. And then, you know, that's how that works. There's also this thing here, which is a driller. A uh, driller is new in that it makes a hole. Usually. And then you can grab things through, you can root lasers through. So very interesting. I think this puzzle is done, so... Yeah, very interesting new mechanics, very cool storyline, funky graphics. I really enjoy that, so... Let's see. Did they send us here? I think so. Five, yes, there we go. And we can switch it into third-person view. So we are now this guy. And we are the thousands iteration. So we've got the, the, the androids have made a thousand robots. The founder was the first one, which is basically Athena, which is the person we were in the first game, I believe. And she's gone missing. She's the founder. She's created 10 robots and a city called New Jerusalem. But they have an energy crisis and they decided to make thousand robots in total after she was born or she was created yes it is two four seven eight whatever that means beautiful texture work as well i have to say really nice five You should, Brian. If you enjoyed the first game, you're going to love this one. I really enjoy it. It's really nice. Most of them, it starts quite nice. It, it literally starts as if it is the first game. It's a little recap. And then after you've done that for an hour or two, it introduces you to all these funky new mechanics here. So we still have the jammer, like this one I can't get to, but it's a regular jammer. We still have switches and pressure plates wafty trees and all and this is always the goal so you have to go and just put your hand in there and then you've solved the puzzle well, that goes over here and these metal walls you can use that driller for this is a thing that introduced me to this morning pressure plate this here apparently is to override this puzzle so there is a way if you can't solve a puzzle you can still finish the game so you can go and say well i can't do this i think you can press this here and then you can override it and then the game will let you get through so that's quite nice as well here we go driller driller Oh, nice. So Driller can... Can? Yes, Driller can get through the purple curtains. This is nice. I can't go through, though. <laughs> but I can certainly grab something through it. Is that a switch or not? 
Yeah, there is a switch. So maybe I can make the hole slightly further to the wall. And maybe I can just go and flick the switch. <laughs> you got it! Fantastic! <laughs> Fantastic. I think it's currently on a little bit of a... Little bit of a sale. Like that. I think that might be working. If I do this. Does this work? Just a bit. Yes, look at that. Turn switch on through the hole. That is great. And now I suppose I can go. Whee! Was that a good idea? Yes. Because now I have the jammer. You can either jam this, bring things through, or, whoops, or jam something through here like that. Maybe. <laughs> You're gonna have so much fun with that, Ryan. Chilled out Sunday mornings, Wednesday evenings. Ah, oh, and we're nearly there. Well, there's another driller thing. How would we get to that, though? Well, maybe we can... Can we disarm this gate here? Or that gate over there? Let's see if we can do that. With the... Uh, the... Whee! Oh, he doesn't disarm anything through here, does he? Oh no, he does, but he does that. So that's... we don't want to do that. It would have to be this gate, I suppose. That's a tricky one, isn't it? And there's nothing else in this level. I'm always thinking, do we maybe... Have we overlooked something? But that is really all there is. There's this thing. There's this... There's that, and anything else is behind here, huh. Yeah, so it looks like this guy we don't get out of there, but he can probably go and poke a hole through this, and then do what? Hmm. It's a tricky one. Can we do this? No, so it doesn't reach through there either. It can only do this here. It's a tricky one. Any ideas? <laughs> I have a feeling we're missing something here. Like, how would you open this? Ever. Well, you wouldn't really, would you? You would take the, the driller and pull a hole through that and maybe just reach the terminal through there. So we wouldn't necessarily have to go into here but it would mean we need a driller like this guy here <laughs> and sort of poke a hole through here but that means we have to have a driller out here and we currently don't have that And he's too far away from this wall, so I can't make a hole in here and then pull him through. That also works. I'm 
That jammer can open that. Could it de-jam this? It doesn't, does it? It doesn't sort of de-jam that. Even though that would be great, but I don't think that's how it works. Does it? No. It does not de-jam that. Well, that's bad, isn't it? How are we gonna how are we gonna solve this then? How are we gonna solve that? And this also doesn't doesn't undo that right now. No, it does not. Does it de-jam this? No, it also doesn't do that. Does anything happen if I switch this off again? Is it in any way helpful? to jam something through here? It isn't, is it? Just checking. <laughs> I don't think it is. Can you climb the ladder, make a hole and grab it? Ah, no, I can only climb over so they don't let me stand on top of the wall, if that's what you mean. Yeah, I can't stand there and then, then pick it up and no, I, I just jump over it immediately. Huh. That's an interesting one, isn't it? I have a feeling... We sort of need to get into this room here, somehow. And I also have a feeling that this is probably something that this guy puts a hole through. But then how would we, how would we go, oh, maybe, maybe this way. If I go and take this and put a hole through here, that is something we can do. Maybe we can point the jammer at that gate through the hole. Oh man, Julia, that is such a shame. I said it isn't possible because the moment I go on this ladder, there's no way for me to stay at the top. It goes and puts me down right away. But I think maybe that is the, that is the solution then. This. Yes. Ooh. Ah, oh yeah, we go for the ladder. It's all good. <laughs> right. So now, I think I can put this here and then pull him through. Ah! Brian, if you already grasp this concept, you're going to be awesome at this game. You're going to really enjoy it. Is this enough to... Ah, oh, it's not enough. What is she? <laughs> Dang. Well, almost. I can't reach through there. Maybe we can make it so that we use that jammer now. Oh, what a shame. I switched off the, the thing.
<laughs> we be jamming. We so totally be jamming. So do that. And then... Try through the... Ah, it's not gonna work, is it? It's not gonna work. I don't think there's an angle that would allow us to do that. Dang, what a shame. <laughs> yes, iClone takes about seven hours to convert a character. And, you know, we gotta fill the time somehow. Can you take the jammer out from the other side of the hall? Then you can place it where you please. Yes, to a certain extent, yes, but you can't take the same jammer through its own hall. So if I take, if I do this, I can't be on the other side and take this jammer through the hall. I'd have to make a hall with a different jammer and then pull it through. That would work. That would work, but I can't do it with the same uh, jammer. Like so, like what I did here. This jammer creates, or this driller creates that hole, and I get that through there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have a good night, Sacred Sage. Have fun working for the city. Enjoy that extra 25 cents an hour. You've earned it. Well, not yet you haven't. You've got to go to work first, but then you will earn it. So, <laughs> have a good night. Can we do it with this one, though? Like, like that. Does that give us... Does that give us an advantage? Oh, yeah, I can't go behind this curtain. Yeah, I can't, can I? Can I, though? Take it with me. Yes, I can do that. I can do that. That I can do. Does this, does this do anything for us? Is this good for something? <laughs> Can't tell yet. Take that out, but then now I can't take it behind the curtain. Oh! I think I may have to go reset this puzzle. I've got my got myself in a in a right pinch here. Let me do that. Let me go and reset that. We'll see what happens. Point that hole maker at a wall of the room that has the jammer in it. Go inside the room, place the jammer by the hole. Go outside room, take the jammer? It does not compute, Brian, I'm afraid. <laughs> we started by doing this, didn't we? From here, take this. And do that here to switch on the the air. Like so. Switch on. Now I can go on here and in here. And now I can go and unjam all kinds of doors, like this one here. So far, so good. Right? How did it work again? We can't go... ...beyond this. But we want to be. We totally want to be in this room. But we totally can't go there. So... What did we do? <laughs> I 
Now put the jammer by the hole I've just made. Right, yes, 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 absolutely. Like the jammer, like this. Put that here. Ready? So that's, that's cool. Then... Oh yes, that's the angle we need, isn't it? Yes, 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 yes. I hear you, Brian. I hear you, Brian. I think I know what you're saying now. Well, all we need now is to take this jammer out, do we not? The jammer, the driller, I mean. So we just need to jam that gate and position that. Ah, well, <laughs> I need to bring that thing back in there, don't I, first of all. Yeah, bloody force field. Pajama here, quickly jump back over. We're totally gonna get that. Get that sorted though. So that will point at this eventually. <laughs> we're, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. We do this. I think. Then we go and do this. They are crafty with these puzzles, I have to say. Then we take this, jam that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's baked 100%, has it? Oh, thank you so much for letting me know. Yes, of course, you can see it on the other monitor. I love it. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> now we put this guy out here. This will see what we want to do with that guy. He can now do, I don't know, something like this. Now, you go back kind of here, doesn't really matter exactly where. Forget I clone. Yeah, exactly. Got something far more exciting to do now. And now if we go put that through here. I think this is the angle that we need to just disable that other... That other... Well, almost. Almost. So if we just go and put you kind of here... Still not. Yes. So this is cool. That's now opened that gate. But of course, tragically, <laughs> we need to... No, we don't. We don't. We don't. We can take this. Oh, no, no. We... Uh. We need something to, to open this now, don't we? Oh, maybe we can do this then. No, we can't because it doesn't work through gates. Oh, God. There's always something, isn't there? Can I... Is there this thing I can remove? No. Ha! Huh. Well, fascinating. <laughs> Maybe if I run really quickly. I eat. Ah, don't know if it. Can this thing help? No, because it would also have to go through the gates. Oh, they're mean, aren't they? 
Aha. Again, there's no way we can take this out, is there? This is literally the missing component that we need because this is the only spare part we could possibly put on a pressure plate. I figured we can take the jammer from out of the room it is in. How do we do that though? We need another jammer to keep the gate open. Yeah. So this thing's got to be the the key here. We need to get him out somehow. Can't take it beyond the purple curtain. We can open this though. That that should work. I'm thinking we can make we can use this driller here and put a hole in here. Let the jammer open this gate and then we should be able to put this guy through here and then just reach through it. So that, that's how we get him out. That would work, right? That would work. Oh, but this means we need to go on first of all. Well, we can probably take this guy again. Make that hole. <laughs> Then we take this guy, oops, put you there, we go into here, we, and then we go and do, we do, we do that, we're so close, I can feel it, I can feel it, we're so close, now we take this, There, perfect. Now we have two of them. How exciting. So now we put this guy here. We... Uh, hang on. We... That works. We take... It's super easy. It's just like using 3D applications, isn't it? Put you here, climb out of that. The minds that come up with these puzzles. I mean, there's one thing is trying to solve it, but the other is quite like, how do you design it so that it becomes an engaging experience? Open that, you. Oh my, I think we've got it. We do that. <gasps> We go around here and the thing is open. We've done it. Yes. <laughs> that is so cool. Ha ha ha. Nice one. <laughs> Smarty pants people. That's who. Mr. Nate, how's it going? Now this is exciting, isn't it? Very cool. How do we get out? Nate, this is Talos Principle 2. Seriously mind-bending puzzles with drillers and RGB combinators and stuff. Oh my, but look at the beautiful landscape. And it even tells you where the next thing is. These triangles here at the top right, those are additional puzzles that are, I think, optional. My god! Afternoon nap, my goodness. Hey, this is good. This was this was great. This was great. Shall we go back to iClone or would you like to do another puzzle? What do you think? It's number two, yes. I don't think that works, Nate. That works in neither the first or the second part. <laughs> Me too! I think I would like to go back to, to see if I can go and uh, get our waitress animated in 
in Unreal Engine. <laughs> I think that would be a good idea. Let's try it. <laughs> Brian says, let's do Talos. Ooh, interesting. And there's me thinking we should end on a high note. I mean, we've, we've done this puzzle and we're already super exhausted. Art says Unreal Waitress. Mm. So it looks like we have a tie. Let me see if I can put a... Engage with your audience. Let me start a poll. What shall we do next? Play Talos Principle or go back to iClone Unreal Engine. You decide. I will abide by whatever the poll says. You have the power to vote, my friends. Have an art contest. <laughs> See, have an art contest. Hmm. It's going to be exciting. See, 67% already said 75% say, let's go back to iClone and Unreal Engine. Finish what we've started. We've been waiting for 45 minutes for Michael to convert. I've also got the female waitress to convert. I'm hoping that's going to go a bit faster. Ooh, there we go. After five votes, iClone and Unreal Engine is 80% ahead. I think let's go do that then. Thank you for voting, my friends. I appreciate that. It means I just need to go and uh, switch something over. But that's not a problem at all. Let's do that then. I abide by the poll. Whoa, that is loud. Does it work automatically? I don't think it does. Maybe it does. See, maybe I don't even have to go up. Get up. Does it? Are you switching? Could be. So the way this works is there is a is a three-way HDMI splitter somewhere. There we go. Well done, buddy. And uh, that is, if it detects a new signal, it always switches to that source. But if that signal goes away, I didn't know if it switches back to this, but it does. So this is great. It's like a seamless thing. Bzzz and pull. There we go. Very good. We're back in iClone. Does he look as ravishing as he did before? Yeah, look at the buttons. No, no, no. I love it. The buttons are... Uh, our character creator is, of course, looks the same, but it isn't the same. I gotta switch my... My preference is over from iClone horror mode to something my fingers can understand. There we go. That's that's it. That's it. Yes, the buttons. Rigid follow nodes outside of Das Studio. The final frontier. <laughs> what would you recommend, Brian? Do we just push them into the right position or do we delete them and forget we ever had them? <laughs> I have a feeling deleting them is probably the easiest course of action, isn't it? <laughs> but he's converted and the clothing has converted and all that. So that is very cool. I do I do appreciate that. That is quite cool. I think you, we don't really... Do we see anything left over from the 4K textures? No, we do. We do. He's got drawn on eyebrows, so we don't have to worry about that. Delete! Delete! Let's do that. Let's do that. We got a scene and with all of these things. Ding. Yes. No buttons for you. So that we don't have to wait another seven hours for the next conversion. Let me go and quickly save this whole project here. Save. Save project. Okay, while we're here, how do we transfer him into Unreal Engine? We do that from iClone, right? So I gotta send this to iClone and then let's set, let's set let iClone send him over to Unreal Engine, right? <laughs> Staples, I like it. That is a great idea. I think there was a there was a thing here somewhere. Was this it? No, this was it. Sent to iClone. That's it. Let's go do that. 
I think you told me that these projects are actually compatible, even though they have a different extension. CC project versus iClone project. And while Unreal Engine works on that, we'll see if we can bring the female waitress over. Oh, they're no longer compatible. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> I like it. I see. I think for them, Character Creator almost turns into the larger program because it has all the 3D modeling tools built in. It's a massive application. It's very, it's very clever to split it out from iClone. I think it's a good idea. But I think Character Creator is so much more than just a character creation software. I wouldn't be surprised if they rename that in the future. <laughs> Strobe Waffles, yes! My favorite! We should have bought some earlier, Julia. Dang. <laughs> well, we have muffins. That's good. <laughs> At least we have muffins. Do you know what they are, Nate? You know them. They're so, so good. Well, it is with unlimited coffee, so, you know. <laughs> the third taxi loading. We love it. So then, before we do anything with you in iClone, let's go and send you over. That was done with this. I remember, I remember. And we say no, no, and no. And do we have Unreal Engine open? Yes. Yes, we do. The first diner patient here. <laughs> okay. Let's go do that. I clone transfer and boom. <laughs> I rescind my acceptance. I love it, Nate. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> this is looking handsome, Brian. I like it. Look at that. It's it's doing things. It's doing the correct things. I think the next thing I might do is I do have a card. Well, I have multiple cards, but the card that I'm currently streaming with is called the Elgato something. It has a it has one input and one output. So you put whatever you put in gets processed, streamed out, recorded, whatever, and then the same thing also gets put out again. And um, I'm not actually using that output, but I have another card that has four HDMI inputs. It's called the Camlink Pro, I believe. Yeah, so you can have four HDMI inputs and then you can switch between them. So I think in the future, when we do these long waiting sessions, what I might have to do is go and have a switch between the PlayStation and the PC so we can go and switch between them back and forth. I'm thinking that might be a good idea. Kick one thing off, go play PlayStation for 15 minutes, then come back. So we do productive entertainment. I like it. You know, Nate, caffeine has that effect on some people. Usually when caffeine sends you to sleep, you know you have a bit of a problem with caffeine addiction. Try decaf, Nate. Come over to the decaf side. <laughs> no alcohol. <laughs> no caffeine. It's Jay's life. And some 3D applications. And computers that don't work. So that's, that's Jay's life in a nutshell. Wonder why he's on the edge so many times. <laughs> well, the fact that you could sleep after technically 10 espresso shots, that says something. Yeah, but then you're doing the 15 shots at once, so that doesn't cut down exactly. I only drink coffee once for an 18-hour period, technically, you know. But it is only once a day. <laughs> With the capital F. I love watching 
screens like that. This is why we need the six monitors, Nate, that three of them can have that on there all the time. Just live locks displayed from stuff. It's what they do on the TV, isn't it? Because really, if you're a hardcore hacker, you'd want to look at some kind of lock output all the time. You'd want to have that live lock all the time so that you can react immediately to errors as they occur. To new skeleton, what's it there? There we go, nice. Thank you for putting both of these people into the same position. That is very good. Let's go and take you out. Ah, oh, man, you, the, that's fine. Don't worry about it. It's cool. And then this goes here, that goes here. He's called CC3 Base Plus. That's very nondescript, isn't it? Didn't even give him a name. Do you look all right, buddy? You don't. You don't look. You look great. But then neither is the lighting. So. That's probably the lighting. You look much better now. There's really not much left over from the 4K texture, huh? <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> but hey, he's now in Unreal Engine and we can now go and animate him. So this is good. This is good. I'm going to go and rename him. Both here and in... Like here, this is going to be... Michael almost spelled him correctly. Michael Seven Waiter. There we go. That's what your folder is going to be called. And that's what you're going to be called in a minute. And then we need to remember that when we do the live link, he needs to also be called Michael or something. <laughs> Very important. CC3 Base Plus. And there's the blueprint here. Yeah, I might just go and leave these things as they are. I don't want to mix things up. What I should have really done is call you something else here. I think I might do that. I'll call you Michael7 and also spell you correctly. Michael7, there. I'll go and save this project here as well, just in case. I cloned the diner. Yes, I like it. Great. Um, we'll go and delete you for now. Go back to character creator, delete you here as well. Import the other character with, check it out, Transformer. And I'll go and try to use uh, like the 1K maybe. See if that looks good or whatnot. <laughs> he has, hasn't he? Yeah, poor dude has been through a lot. But hey, he's going to be... He's going to have a bit part, non-speaking bit part... <laughs> Do you know those buttons here? I mean, I could have probably just deleted them in Dash Studio. What happens if I go and untick them? They won't even import, right? I mean, I, I suppose I can try them, but they're going to just be as out of place as they were before. Shoes are shoes. Giselle hair is hair. I love that it recognizes these things. That's very cool. At 1024. Okay. Admins and the games they play while watching their stocks. Plying cloth, that's, that's looking as if it's going a bit faster. Good luck, Nate. Computers, they really take it out of you. Building them, reinstalling stuff that you have on them. It took me literally a week and I'm stressed. I'm breaking out with, you know, hives. Even though it could be a chemical burn, who knows? <laughs> I don't know yet. 
Yes, me too, Art. I hope they're going to get it sorted for you. Especially if you buy a computer and it needs to work, you know, it's it's annoying enough if you want to just do things with it that's for entertainment. But if it's something where the computer just needs to work, that is, you know, it's a whole different ballgame. You need these things to function, work with you rather than against you. Processing diffuse. 27, yes, come on. <laughs> And yet here we are, yes. <laughs> Look at that, 53 out of 78. This is going faster. So we don't have to go back to the Talos principle. Even though... Once we've done this, I think I'd like to do that and just play in one more puzzle because, hey, it's a good game. Processing ambient occlusion. Oh, baking Texas. We're almost there. Look at that. Ha ha. Oh, wow. Those. The, what with the hair? Bring back the hair. <laughs> Come on, bring the hair back. Also, the tights. My God, the tights. You're very unpresentable as a waitress like that. We're okay without the buttons. But the tights, I mean, OMG. Let's do the buttons first. No buttons for you. And so then the tights, they often have issues in Dash Studio as well. I think that's just, we just need to... Which ones are they? DP stockings, are those them? Yes, those are them. So we can either take them off or we can try to conform them. Yes. Not bad. Oh, they have a pattern on it as well. Look at that. Nicely done. Proper tights. That isn't bad. And there's no poke through. Everything kind of works. Face looking okay here. Kind of does, doesn't it? And even the hair. I mean, it's... I mean, it's usable. It looks fine. It's It's all good. I'm liking it. Oh, I think the apron is also going through the skirt a little bit. Let's see if we can do something about that. Is there a little bit of poke through here? Or are they just holes in the mesh? Uh, let's pretend we didn't see that, but let's see if we can figure out the <laughs> figure out something about the apron here. Apron. How do we deal with that, Brian? Do we do we conform it as well? Because if so, we I could try it, but is it going to conform to the skirt or the character, or do we just increase the increase size here? What do you think? Well, hey, it's a tough job at the diner, you know, there's cigarette burns and and stuff happening all the time. Loose fitting, or maybe I can try that. Loose fitting. Fit fits loose. Let's see what happens. Did that do anything? Totally didn't. Increase size. How does that work? Almost. Oh, triangles. Ooh, no, that's not good. That is no good at all. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, conforming, I don't think that worked. It didn't work. We could try just pulling this out a little bit, right? With the mesh editing thing, which I don't exactly remember. Was it edit mesh here? Is that it? 
Yes. And then we just go and pull that out a tad, maybe. Vertex face, face, maybe. Face. Sculpt, 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 sculpt. I mean, casually integrated <laughs> into a program like that to just make clothing fit better. Is that cool or what? Big old brush. I like it, Brian. I like it. What's this it? That's the standard brush, isn't it? If I do this, does it do stuff? It certainly does. Does brush get bigger? No, not with that. So I take it yellow is when it no longer intersects. But I'm totally just making that up. That could be... It kind of looks like that's what it's doing. This will work with the smoothing brush in a second. Smoothing brush is shift, of course. Yes, thank you. I like. Yeah, and this is going to be a little bit, uh, a little more difficult. Ha! Ha! That is just, that's cool. That's cool, isn't it? I, I gotta say, that is, that's just cool, isn't it? UE does not, no. Um, UE's concept of layers is very different than that of iClone or character creators. Here, I think it means the, the position away from the body, but Unreal Engine doesn't have a concept of follower clothing at all. How do we get out of this, Brian? Just click Edit Mesh, maybe? Oh, yes! Well, we're nearly there! Few more bits and pieces to sort out. Apron. Modify. Edit Mesh. This is great! Yes, it's funny that they don't have that sort of concept at the moment, so I would imagine they're working on this. I can't really remember where this was. Yeah, I think clothing is still very much of a hack in Unreal Engine. So currently the way this works is if you look at a character like that and you'd want to change their outfit in a video game you basically have either a different material like this or the body parts are hidden underneath it so if there is a shirt then usually what you'll see is that the body underneath the shirt is gone and if you change the shirt you essentially replace a whole mesh of the character or you have multiple meshes like multiple shirts worn at the same time and then you make the ones that you don't see invisible and the one that you do see visible and then if you change shirts you make the first one invisible and the second one visible it's a hack it's a total hack so they don't have things like um like what we have in das studio i'm buying it what do you think what do you think these these holes are all about brian is there anything we should uh is that just poke through? I 
I'm wondering if we just conform the shirt, maybe then that goes away. Does it? Coffee stain, yes, that's what it's all about. Oh, no, that was bad. That was bad. Ba -ba 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 -da 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 -da. Uh, does Control Z work on this? Yes, good stuff. I like it. Let me see if I can do the same sculpting job as before. Perhaps with a slightly smaller brush here. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Fixed it. <laughs> Could be moth bites, could be moth bites. Good point, Art. Let's do that. While we're in here. Looking okay. How are we doing on the hair front here? Hair good. I've got no complaints. I think it might be a little bit flat on the top, but that's just a style. I'm also okay with the with the lock of hair in front of her face. That's all totally fine. I'm good with that. Fix that, fix that. How about the shoes? Ah, yeah, well, that doesn't look great. <laughs> Maybe we'll fix it the same way. Maybe that's the stockings. We've already conformed them, so that's not it. Maybe a bit of subtle sculpting. We have a sculpting tool right inside here that's just that's just rad man and then is what's the moment we go where we go in like invert like this is there a shortcut for that Hold control to toggle. And it is control. Oh, there we go. Now it works. That's it. I was kind of thinking the straps, they need to be above the... They need to be above the, the shoes. So maybe we'll make the shoes a little bit bigger as well. I'm thinking. Shoes, shoes, yes. <laughs> yeah, because currently I think the tights come out of the shoes. So we just make the shoes a bit bigger. But the good thing is we're just not going to show the shoes, so... <laughs> Perhaps it's less of a deal than than I think it might be. But while we're at it... Whoops, am I currently destroying the straps here? I am, aren't I? Let's, let's undestroy them. <laughs> let's not worry about them. Let's see if it arrives in, in Unreal Engine, first and foremost. Let's save the scene also. Abort. <laughs> yes. Good point, Art. Okay. Save. Project. Uh, what was she called again? She was called Monique. Waitress. And if I remember correctly sent to iCloud. Do we need to select anything or do we just... Or maybe we don't. <laughs> Good point. And it's at the very bottom and, you know, we don't, we're not going to see that. Well, okay. I think I was, I was this close to even 
removing the tights because we're not going to see that either. So here she is. And let's go and call her something funky, not CC3 Base Plus. Let's call her Monique. Waitress. Aha. So then, lifelink character transfer. <gasps> this is exciting. This looked not bad. Now there's this. This here, yes. Yes, we like to see that. And since this is kind of iClone's job finished now, hasn't it? We could try... No, it's not. It's still working on it. That's fine. Fine, fine. I was thinking we could try an animation on her. That'd be good to see if that works. <laughs> and there's free coffee, yes. <laughs> or 25 cent coffee or something like that. Hundred sixty-nine megabytes for something. TFO Auto DXT. Nice. Yes, good. I like it. <laughs> Compute a zero length normal vector. Ah. I'm glad we're doing that, you know. You can never have enough zero length normal vectors. Compute Tangent's MIC T-Space function. Hmm. So, Nate, Apple have just released the M3 line of computers. Funny enough, the M3 is 10%, only 10% faster than the M2. So, not really a big issue, not anything to really wait for. I mean, congrats on making another chip, but... 10% isn't really... <laughs> yes, Apple are still in business. The M2 was 30% faster than the M1. And now the M3 is 10% faster than the M2. So on the whole, I think the M1 is still perfectly good. As is the M2. Do we need an M3? I suppose we're going to get yearly refreshes of stuff. So you can chuck more things in the bin next year. That's the idea, isn't it? They have. They charge a little premium for that. I bought a new trackpad because my old one is also 11 years old. And the new ones are um, rechargeable, so you don't put AA batteries in like it's 1985 anymore. It's now rechargeable. Not wireless, mind you, but it's you know rechargeable, which is cool. And the I think the normal version, the silver version, was about 120. And the black version was 149. Because, you know, if it's black, it costs you more. Because clearly that's, that's how it works. So funny, isn't it? Which one did you have, um, Nate? Is it an M2 or is it an M1? In your laptop. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Only Apple could do it and be completely, you know. A gold pink M1. Good stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, the, the shift to their own architecture was a really smart move. Very cool. I mean, these things don't even get warm anymore. They stay just cold, which is crazy to think of the amount of heat an Intel processor generates. So I really applaud them for that. And I like that they have... You know, M2 was a bit of a speed bump. I like it. But M3 seems to be like a, like a, it's it's a token upgrade, really. It's not even worth waiting for, I don't think. Oh, there she is. Interestingly, in a different, um, whoa, that hair looks uh, interesting. Dude, what are you doing? Hmm, that is interesting. So we go get rid of you. Why do you stand the wrong way, may I ask? And also, we need to talk about the hair. <laughs> A 
In fact, let's talk about the hair now, because I think it's one of those... It's one of those fixable things. Is it this one? Yeah, skeletal mesh. Let's see if we can see if we can work it out. I like how when you switch to any of these persona things that the light just looks super awful. They have a real talent for making light not look good in Unreal Engine. Let's make the default terrible. Okay. <laughs> Will do. Mouth shirt, trim, skirt, scalp. That's a scalp. Hair transparency. I think that's what we want to fix. And this is also what we want to fix. Okay, good. Um, that is... Let's fix one first. And then we'll fix the other. It's all about It's not so much opacity here. I think it was material property overrides. Yeah, I think it's the opacity mask clip value. That might already look uh, better. Clip value, that was one thing. I forgot if it needed to be higher or lower, especially because we have two of these. Let me put it to 0.5 and then we can go and play with the... with the opacity... what are the multiplier that we can doodle with? Yes, there we go. Hair comes back. Hair now looks less terrible. I like it. Now let's see if we can try the same with the other material. That was... That one here. It's the same thing here. Close 67 pallets down. Go to... At material property overrides different clip value and then there better <laughs> she became a ball yes she became a ball there we go now she's now she's wow when i when i said there's <laughs> there's nothing left of the of the 4k material there's really nothing left of the 1k material now is there <laughs> that's just like a flat color now she blends in nicely with the uh, with all the other cartoon characters though, so I'm I'm okay with that. Hey Mr. Chris, how is it going, sir? Thank you for joining me on the Talos Principle the other day. Yesterday, I believe. Much appreciated. Mr. Chris. So, um Animation. Animation animation, motion, social hangout, nightlife, beer talking, barstool chatting, 
bartender cleaning. Now that's that's good. Cleaning idle. This is nice. Bartender sorting things. Bartender pouring stuff. Ooh, I love it. Let's go with sorting things. See if that works. So, Chris, this is an interesting experiment. We have just made... We've taken a Genesis figure, Genesis 3, brought her in with clothing from Das Studio into Character Creator, sent that over into iClone, and now she's getting animated. I, th I think that's, that's quite remarkable. And f f the fun doesn't stop there. Uh, we can go and put her into Unreal Engine as well, which is just super exciting. Let's go and put Bartender Cleaning Motion on her now. That pops into place here. Yeah, there we go. You got to clean the bar, man. So many tools, so little time. You're absolutely right. That is the, the tragic truth of it. But those hands we need, to, we need to correct. I think we can just go and bump this right into here. And then she goes and does this. Doesn't even stand idle there. Go straight from that into cleaning mode. Yes, I like it. The one and only Chris Cox, everyone. Oh, nice. Bring that over to, um, bring that over to here. And that is rad. Was there? There's a problem at the beginning, I think, where her hands intersect with the skirt a little bit. Why don't we correct that? If I remember correctly, that is oh while we're here let's go and use auto blink on her as well so now she blinks with a single click that is very cool i'm thinking that's not here this is this is where that is motion layer i think motion layer and then Bones are a little strong here. Let's use that. Let's, let's use this. Then we use that. And we do this. I like it. Intersection's gone. Oh my. I'm really liking iClone Brian. This is really, really cool. So what are the chances that we get to hook up the live link and see her move like that in in here? Let's see if we can make it happen. This is still here. That is that is that. Receiving. Are you the blueprint or are you the Skeletal mesh. She is the blueprint. That's good. So... This. Then we go here. We don't want to do that. And we do we do this? Does it... Has it worked? No. Hasn't worked. Is it that in life link? Monique Waitress, that is the name. Do we have the same name here? Monique Waitress, yes, 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 we do. Huh. It is so true. We need one tool to tool them all. Oh, did that not? Was that not on? I thought I had it. 
I thought it's here. Is Racine? Let me go and do this again. There's um, it's not doing it. Yesterday that worked though. Oh, is it because real time is off? There we go. Real time was off. That's totally my fault. Real time was off. Control R switches real time off. It means the lighting calculations don't get calculated every frame, and your computer and your electricity bill <laughs> is a little bit is a little bit easier. It's, uh, this is looping now. Loop, yes, yes, and on. Clean the bar. That arm doesn't look healthy when it goes through your body, sweetie. I guess we'll worry about that later, huh? <laughs> Hey, but not bad, right? <laughs> Isn't Omniverse exactly that? Welcome to the stream! I think Omniverse wants to be that. Currently, it is a pathetic excuse for something that sounds better than what it actually provides. But that's just me. And now you can be the waitress. <laughs> Serving drinks and all that. I think eventually it'll get to something really cool. I think what I find a little disappointing about Omniverse is that it I don't think it deals with rigging at all. It it just sends over vertex positions frame by frame and materials. But that's all it does. So it's it's really only there as a as something that that displays stuff and that makes it tricky i think for people to take something that's in omniverse and build something around it i think that's a bit of a, of a problem but i've not really tried it out much i think it's something to watch and eventually it's probably going to be really cool so <laughs> that's that's the plan uh, let me let me see what i can do about the about that arm position here without the lifelink or is that here yeah that's that's pretty terrible sweetie yeah so there's something i haven't quite figured out yet in iclone and that is how to set just an empty keyframe. There's, there seems to be no mechanism for that at all. Or I can't work it out. Like if I use the motion layer here and I'm thinking this is a good motion and I want to retain whatever that is. Isn't there a way to just, you know, say click? But it doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to work. <laughs> or I haven't figured it out yet. That's, that's also possible. So maybe just like this and we just we can just wiggle this. Oh, I still got mirror mode on here. I don't want to do that. Hello. Just wiggle that. And then when you hear that, that's not good. Well, I suppose here you can go back to where you were before. When I double click, so this is a, this is another mystery that I have. If I if I double click, like here, for example, right, like here, where's that on the motion layer? Like here, if I want an empty keyframe right here, double click. 
Yeah, but then it kind of clicks, it makes the keyframe a frame next to it. That's so bad. It's that should be like, or keyframe add button. I'm not an icon person. This all, all these icons look the same to me. It's really difficult for me to get around icons. But I'm sure I'll find it. Which one is it? This one here? Insert frame means nothing to me. This here maybe? Paste. That's also not it. Add key. That could be it. I will try that. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Thank you for being my, my companion on this crazy journey. Where exactly does it set a keyframe? I'm on which on which tracks, on what I've got selected. If only there was a way to find out, huh? <laughs> it sets something everywhere, it appears. Even though the only body part thing is selected. Uh, I need to select the track I want in here, right? Let's say right arm. Just out of curiosity, I press that. Only does it on the right arm. Yes! Yes! Yeah, that makes kind of sense. It kind of makes sense. If only I knew what this was called here, huh? Because that's not just right arm. That's something else. <laughs> if only that was something that would hover over. Of if when I select this that would hook up to this, but no, no, that's not not how it works, huh? <laughs> okay, we can we can work around it. We can work around it. So like your arm here was actually pretty cool. I'm thinking that's arm. So we're probably gonna something about shoulder maybe. Maybe it's just called right arm here. Why don't we just why don't we just do that? And then, no 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 no. Why why is, why is there two keyframes? Completely not what I want. Much better. And then this is what I've kind of screwed up. So I'll go and bring that back to kind of here. This is where the rest of the hours of the day go. And then we've got this hand issue here. Also something we could we could spend some time on. But perhaps we'll do that another day because, you know, we don't have 69,000 hours left <laughs> for this simple trick. So let's see then if I can go and save this out as waitress animation and I'll go and load up my my diner scene here and see if we can position her and see if we can send that data over let's see Maybe it's a good thing that it's not that granular. Maybe it's okay to be a little bit more vague and um, and do it, you know, like we did it uh, just just roughly. There's just something I'd like to have that whatever I've got selected, like the shoulder, and then there's one magic button. Uh, just set an empty keyframe there because I'm about to change properties on this thing. That would be good. But hey, <laughs> we can't have it all. So I've got these guys in it already. And maybe the waitress, she could be over here. Waitress blueprint. And since we don't really know where she needs to be, let's go and send the counter. Oh, there's multiple counters here. These, these here counters, let's go send them over to iClone as merged thing. There they are. So, haha, now this is another interesting thing. How do we move waitress woman on the first frame of the animation over to the counter. Will the animation remain in place? Obviously not if you do that. And which one's the back of the counter? Is it the flat bit? 
I think so, right? Yeah, the flat bit is the, the back of the counter. <laughs> first frame, gotcha. The first frame blues, right? <laughs> How many times have we been there? Move the camera. You realize you weren't on the first frame of the animation. Your project is now screwed. Or oh, what did I do to the height? Uh, since she's behind the counter, it's even, even, even better that we didn't worry about the shoes too much. Maybe kind of here somewhere. Or slightly further over here. See what that looks like. Yeah, I have to do it this way, Art, because... Uh, this animation needs to honor the position of the geometry in the level that already exists. So I'm sending the proxy object over so that... So that when she does this in the scene, it'll it'll kind of integrate. She could probably be a bit closer to the counter, right? I'm thinking. <laughs> this is really cool, I have to say. Uh, so then now... Activate lifelink here. Is she already? She's already in position. Oh my god, she is. Look at that. This is rad, man. She needs a bomb up rack. Yes, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. We'll, we'll add that as a as a thing here. Receiving. Hey, this is great. Go go do that. Then we do this, and there she is. Working. Working hard. I don't know. These guys, they, I haven't recorded them, but I'll send them over separately. And then we've got, we've got busy diner atmosphere here. We might need to move some of these, these cups out of the way so that she can actually clean them. <laughs> J-Clone, isn't it? <laughs> it's really cool, Brian. I really enjoy it. It's a, it's a funky program. And there's so much I have to learn about it, but I think it's all, it's, you can pick it up. I think this is the tool that's really missing from Unreal Engine. Like making, doing it like this is really not something I can see myself doing in Unreal Engine natively. I've heard about the control rig and it has some really powerful tools and features, but I just don't get it. And the, the part in which they were explaining it in the, um, in the, um, in the animation fellowship, it just, yeah, I missed it, which is such a shame. <laughs> J-Clone, really? How exciting. And she blinks as well with one with one option, with one click. So that was that was nice, actually. I gotta gotta say, that's very cool. Maybe we'll move her a little bit closer. Or, you know, further back, if we wanted to see her do some work further back. Also not a problem. Let's try that. Reactivate. Go link. And here she is. Now she's moved positions. That is just, that is just cool, isn't it? And we got to play some video games as well. I mean, i got to say, this is just, that's just very enjoyable. Especially for background characters. Ha! Huh. Right! Didn't we just? So, what are the chances? So, I need to animate and record these people. They're already animated, they're just not recorded here. What are the chances we do... We use something like, like this on a, on a wide shot. That'd be kind of, kind of funky. Waitress buzzing, these guys talking. Well, let's see if we can make it happen and then just play these things back. I 
I wonder if the was the position good here, or shall we shall we move her back to where she was, slightly further to the front here? That might be might be better for the for the shot if we have something like this. No, I think she can stay where she is. That's that's fine. So the 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 time code provider thing link. Where was that again? Did I put that in the cinematics? I did new media profile. That's the one. <laughs> Live link time code. Uh, this is invalid. Monique. We'll go with Monique first. Oh, I should have put a put a bookmark here. Control one. Okay, Monique. It's time for your close-up, sweetie. Let's go and record your take. How do I do that again? Is it window, cinematics, take recorder? I can't remember. Monique, take one. And uh, 60 frames, 60 frames. That's um, all good. Uh, Monique, there we go. And the whole origin thing, I'm not going to worry about, right? <laughs> Trying to get service, yes, exactly, yes. <laughs> Good point. Let's save. I have to say, this has stopped working for some reason. Control Shift S no longer saves for me. I don't know why. Control, oh, control Alt S. There we go. So control Alt S. That's why it's not working for me. J, just press the right combination. Control Alt S. Now that also doesn't work anymore. Oh, that's not it. It's save all. Control Shift S. No, that's it. Control Shift S. Control Shift S. So it doesn't work. It doesn't save. If I manually do it, it does it. But Control Shift S no longer works on this keyboard. What's going on? <laughs> Why? There's no currently enabled valid sources to be. I'm trying. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. The, from actor Monique. That, that's the one. Yes. Yes. I like. And now we got the countdown. But playhead is moving. What we want? Exactly what we want. Because we go over here. And we go, we don't do loop, we go link. And then we go play. And when we do that, then nothing works. Oh, what a shame. Should have activated the link before. Okay, that take didn't work. <laughs> Dang. Oh, it was link, it was active. What was I thinking? It was active. Okay, linked, linked. Okay, fine. We, we record. <laughs> it was linked. I switched it off. Man, what a shame. Okay, fine. So we're recording or not. We're waiting for things to happen. So let's go over here, casually go and press play. And then I go over here and then it records. Oh, this is great. Why did I do that, Brian? Why did I do that? And then we stop. Isn't this cool? Isn't this cool? So now we've got exactly the thing recorded that I had in iClone. Nothing more, nothing less. So there's nothing I need to top and tail. And cut. Print. Great. Monique, you were great. You were like, you were great. Five minute break for you. And we're loading a different scene now. We're recording these guys now. Control S and iCloud still works, which is nice. I'll deactivate the link and I'll open the project that we had yesterday, which was uh, Eddie and Alika. There we go. Michael doesn't even get to be playing in this set. <laughs> I love it when stuff works as well. 
Yes, quite on set now. We're going to do two more takes for the two patrons in the bar. This is what they look like. They I blink as well. I've got their whoops. I've got their the feet. Man. I've got their feet corrected here. Oh yeah, we can go and extend that to sort of here, I suppose. Okay, we're going to do a leaker first. A leaker first, so we'll go and and uh, not do that. Not do Eddie, just her. See if that works. Activate. Yes, she's sitting down. How exciting. He's standing up. That's perfect. That is exactly what we want. So this is now a leaker. Take, uh, I don't know, three, four, five. I don't know. This is maybe, let's, let's call it, uh, how many have we got of her? They could all be deleted, you know, but it's one of those things. This was, this was yesterday. Alika, we already have three, so we're on Alika take four. I like it. Four. <laughs> Is this fun or what? This is seriously cool. <laughs> the merry legs, exactly. Oh, and then also in the other thing here. What was it? The, the this here, the media, what's it? The... I have to say, not Monique is going to be Alika, so that this listens to that. It's quiet on the set. We're doing another take. That is doing what I want. And then we go over here and we do this uh, is on loop. This is no longer on loop and boom. And we're recording! This is so cool! Oh, I forgot that, didn't I? She's moving, but she's not actually being recorded. Oh, Brian, very good point. Okay, cut! Cut! Don't print! This was terrible. This was not a good take. This here needs to be popped out. Source needs to be that very good. I'm so glad we're doing this together, Brian. There, that is what we want to record. Okay, reset, reset. <laughs> Alika, take five. Not, don't take five minutes. I mean, it's take five and action. I might hook up the play on iClone to a button on my stream deck. That might be good. So then I could just do... That'd be great! <laughs> Once we've got these things recorded, it'll be exciting to see if I put them all on the same uh, sequencer and just use them as subsequences. Let's see if it works. And uh, and thank you! That was That's a wrap for Alika. The next person is this guy. So we'll bring him into here. Eddie, that's him, Eddie. And then in the what's it window, we'll change that also to, well, that's not live yet. So we'll go and swap that over. Can I just go and undo you and do you? Is that how that works? And then we're live with him. Yes. Oh my. I love it when things actually work and make sense at the same time. So, Eddie, I think we haven't had any takes with you. Eddie is going to be take one. Are we good here? Quiet in the auditorium. We're doing one more test. Uh, take. This is good. This is good. Eddie is chilling. We hadn't reset Eddie yet. Is that a problem? That's not a problem. And action. (laughs) 
It might be art, I'm not sure yet. I think it might be something like a cool little animation. At least, why is this only 16 seconds long? I could have sworn this was longer. Maybe I haven't actually done it. Have I not done it? Oh, that was me. Eddie wasn't... Eddie wasn't as long as I had hoped. But let's make Eddie longer. I had... I had done this with her, but not with him. So let's go work on... On Eddie's outro here. Can we go... Can we just go and duplicate that somehow? Can we do just copy? And then paste that here? Is that, is that how that works? Oh my god, it does! That's awesome. Does this loop? If we do that... And no one's even gonna notice. This is great! Fantastic! And I'm totally okay if we just end here with the same duration as Alika. That's perfectly fine. So, Eddie, we're gonna do another take with you. Eddie, take two. I like it. If, if we might do that next weekend. <laughs> I don't know about the waitress bringing coffee yet, you know. Oh, you see, I haven't activated the thing, so let's go. Stop it, stop it. Cut. Activate. Eddie's sitting down. Eddie, take three. <laughs> Man, this is where you need multiple assistants. Can you imagine coordinating this with real people? Like we used to do on TV. Oh, look at that art. Oh, that's exciting, isn't it? How many characters did you get to until it crashed? Yes, you're so right. Um, uh, iClone isn't free, that's true. Um, but it really opens up possibilities that are just otherwise not there. Not even with Unreal Engine. I find, anyway. We're done with the take recorder. So this, the way this technology works is kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a mocap suit that provides this data or another live link input source. And um, while expensive, it's still something that is in the realm of affordability for small production teams, I find. So now this is going to be going to be very interesting. I'm going to go and make all these guys invisible including Eddie Eddie's still visible I don't know why <laughs> why are you still visible Eddie why, am I, why does my shortcut no longer work that's just I gotta investigate that so let me go and make the link inactive I think that'll make Eddie disappear no Eddie's still here Eddie Eddie why is Eddie still here? I don't understand. Is Eddie here twice? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go and duplicate this here. Diner test. I'm going to make maybe a duplicate and call it Diner animation. V1. Oh, now it works. I like it. Let's open that, and from, so the level is going to be identical, but here I can go and remove the people like this, and Eddie, Eddie Blueprint, oh, I like it, and then that, and Alika Blueprint as well. You, you're all going, and let's make a new master sequence, so to say. And I'll call this one SQ Diner One. I'll go and put one in the level. And then I'm gonna go and open it. And in here I'm gonna go and make a 
subsequences track so I don't have to worry about uh, dealing with these other animations. I'm just going to go and add one, which is going to be the last take of everyone. So Alika take five. There she is. And she gets spawned and that's her animation. That's very cool. And then I'll go and add another one, which is going to be Eddie. Eddie, I suppose, take three. There we go. Eddie gets spawned in as well. That's not bad. Man, this is great. And then I'll add another one. I might also rename these. So this is Alika. And then this one is Eddie. And then I'll add one more. Subsequence track. And that's what's going to be the waitress. Monique waitress. We did it in take three. There we go. Nice. waitress and now i can go and collapse these things and then you know that's that's that so all we need to do now is figure out how long any of this is like to about here waitress can go and doodle around that's that's good and then we can go and make this thing as and kind of and, uh, loop somewhere so this one here that loop Boy, oh boy, now we have animation playing <laughs> with all three characters. That is pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yes, good luck with your Alienware art. I hope it's going to go well. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie Blueprint. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it. Can we do you guys full screen? Yes, there we go. Oh, beautifulness. And we can shoot it from all kinds of directions. Not bad, huh? This could be control two. Look at that. We can switch between cameras live. Is this insane or what? Oh my, this is just... This is where you think, hey, this is just there's something that's just too cool. I think I might put a point light here in the middle of the scene. Control three over here, and we'll put another one. Oops. Perhaps over here, control four. And now we can go and switch. That is the animation, isn't it? Oh my God, just do this live. Give them facial expressions. <laughs> It's the mime cafe, exactly. Yeah, so I think the next thing we need to do is we need to, I, I, I not we, I need to really work on um, understanding how I can do this with uh, with facial expressions. And, uh, and I've already made it so that I can type some text and then go and make these guys talk to the text. Since this is only like a thing where we're not going to hear the audio, they still need to speak because they need to kind of interact with one another. I get all excited from time to time and maybe interact with props as well. <laughs> but this is just too cool, isn't it? Let's see if we can improve the lighting. Something we can go and just put a... point light into here uh, hello point light where you at buddy where you where you really at yes yes that looks great except Maybe it's a bit too strong, and also we don't really want it to cast shadows. We just want it to brighten things up. How about one? One's probably enough. There. And I think we need the same for the waitress, even though she's just a bit player, as we say. I mean, you know. We do want to see her face and her eye blinks. Control Shift S still disabled. 
for some reason. Hey Brian, thank you so much for staying around. I really appreciate that. I'm having a lot of fun with iClone and it's all, you know, I owe it all to you. Forget me into it over a course of, of many years. Look at that, we now have light. Isn't that cool? Oh, brilliant. I'm gonna head off as well, but this is just, this is exciting. I could play with this all, all day. Look at the light effects. This is just great. Oh, we made it work. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I'm going to head off as well. Have a wonderful rest of Sunday and I hope you have a good week. I'll probably see you again next Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for more Schnickschnack and 3D shenanigans. Uh, have a good one. Take care. Bye bye.